18 years old. You know, life could be very tough. Why especially when you come out from a very poor background? Who can barely feed themselves? When I'm affluent in life, no matter the kind of condition, weather, or environment you find yourself, God must always have a way of putting smiles on your face every day, making you stronger and a better person you ought to be. This might come in many folds. This might come in such a way that you never expected. I would have ended my existence in this wicked world long ago, if not for my little sister Stella, who always got my back whenever I feel like ending it. She's just six years old, and she's filled with so much wisdom. In other words, she's my world. Aww. Please, if you have not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. It's just the world supporting our ministry. Please, do where to subscribe and don't forget to also share this video. Comment and like, so that we'll be inspired to give you more of this. Thank you. Now you cannot enjoy the life of a very poor girl, Lola. Buy your fresh tomatoes, yeah. Buy your fresh tomatoes, yeah. Ah, Stella, it's bad market today. Nobody wants to buy tomato today. Or should we go home and prepare for school? Sister, how much have you sold so far? Just 215 naira. Oh, now that's too poor. Remember, we need to buy mommy her medicine. And we still need to buy my mommy and eat. Because of us, sir. That's true. So what are you going to do now? Because this place is dry. And there's nobody outside to even hear us. See, I think you should increase your voice. <laughs> yes, add volume to your voice. And let's leave these streets and go to the next street. Then, if nobody wants to buy, you can be begging them. Like, please buy your fresh tomatoes. What? Uh-uh, Stella. Eh, uh -huh, now, unless you don't want to sell it. Remember that mom is sick and she's waiting for us to buy her medicine. This thing is hard, though. Look now, I'm already having a headache. Don't worry, I will help you and be shouting it more small. Please buy your fresh tomatoes. Buy your fresh tomatoes, yeah. Very sweet and delicious tomatoes. Oh, just the added is sweet and delicious. <laughs> Some of them don't know it is sweet. Auntie, please buy our tomatoes, please. You will like it. It is very sweet and delicious, please. Actually, tomatoes is not on my menu today, but I like your courage. Aren't you supposed to be in school? You are too small to be on the streets by this time. Actually, ma, we will still go to school after we are done selling this. No, no. You can sell it after school. This is illegal. No, Auntie Yo. We need to sell it so we can buy mom her drugs. Your mom is sick? Yes, she is very sick. Okay, have this 1,000 naira. I want you both to go home and prepare for school, okay? I would not like to see you again selling tomatoes before going to school. Okay, it's not right and it's not a normal life to me. This auntie is funny. Do we have a normal life? Is there an entitlement like normal life to us? To people who barely seek daily bread? To people who is being humiliated, disgraced and mocked by the society? There's no normal life to our name. Enjoy. Do you guys have a phone? So I can give you my number to call whenever you need anything. No ma, we don't have a phone. Okay. So where do you guys stay? Just down the street then. I will come around. Just go home now and prepare for school. Alright, auntie. Thank you so much for the money. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Why did you do that, Stella? Why are you begging strangers to buy our tomatoes? Sister, you're broke and proud at the same time. Yes, Why won't I beg them? Okay, since you have been shouting, buy fresh tomatoes, how much have you made? <laughs> just 250. And someone I begged just gave us 1000 naira. It's like begging is the way forward though. The what? Because it seems like this tomato business is not working again. Don't do that again, no. You mustn't beg them to buy from us. Anybody that wants to buy should buy. Okay, sister, I have heard you. I will not do it again. Buy your sweet fresh tomatoes here. Yeah.
So as you all know before now, an atom is the smallest particle of an element. So in this case, Ola, why are you coming to school by this time? Instead of you to keep wasting your parents' money, you can just tell them you don't want to go to school anymore. Sir, please, it's not my fault. Shh! Don't say a word. This is not the first time, second time, nor even the fiftieth time you are coming to school late. And you must always have one or two excuses to say. Today I'm going to give you punishment to clear the back of SS2B. And you are going to clear everything. Maybe you can learn your lessons. Since beating doesn't work, maybe hard punishment will work. Go in and sit down. During break period, you go and clear it. Sir, please, I'm sorry. But don't you think that this punishment is too much for me? Please, sir, I beg of you to reduce my punishment. Lola, you cannot be the one to tell me the kind of punishment to give you. I have a class now, and you are disturbing my class. Go in, young lady, and be ready to serve your punishment during break period. But she don't have any reason to do that. She doesn't talk like that. Shut up. What she deserves the punishment. Please don't talk like that. Enough! I won't blame any of you. Everyone is entitled to his or her own opinion. For one thing is for sure. Be mindful when you cast a stone, so you won't bring problems to yourself. Good morning, class. Oh, do I? Why must it be me? Am I the biggest sinner in life? Why letting me go through all this pain on earth? This is way too much than I bear. Discrimination. Humiliation and hatred from so many people. Oh, this is totally not fair. And I need your help. Do something. Do something to save me from this wicked world. Class greet. Good, Good morning, principal. principal. Good morning to you all. Quick one. I'm here to inform that one person who have refused to pay her school fees that there won't be anything like school for her today. Lola, I don't know why you keep stressing this school. Is this how you are going to graduate? Wayak is around the corner, and you are still owing the school school fees of just 7,000 Naira. This really shows the unseriousness in you. You will have to go home and don't come back until you have your school fees. So why me? Why now? Why in this critical situation? Sending me home is not the best thing. Please, just give me from now to Friday. I promise I will come and pay. Please. Life has not really been fair to me lately. Please, sir. Life has not really been fair to anyone either. I don't care how life is treating you. All I just want is for you to come and pay all your fees. This is someone's property and not a charity organization, okay? So go home now and don't come back without the money. This is really not fair. I feel for the poor girl. I wonder why this world will be like this. People only do for you when you have money. I wonder why it may come some to bully this girl as if she's not human being. Like, don't they have conscience? I'm even confused how I end up becoming friends with them. And their influence always makes me look like I'm wicked to this innocent girl. Why are they laughing now? That your classmates can't afford her school fees. Is that enough reason to laugh at her? Because they are privileged, they won't understand the kind of pain people are passing through. Stella, why are you not eating? It's lunchtime and others are eating. Why are you not with your food? No, I'm not hungry. My mom gave me food when I was coming, but I said no that I don't want to carry food. I'm not hungry. I'm a strong girl. No, Stella, you're supposed to come with your food. Remember that we are having lesson after school. How will you cope with an empty stomach? See, you know you're my best friend. You can come and join me. I think Mai will serve the both of us. Don't bother yourself. I'm not staying for the lesson. Why? The lesson is going to teach us a lot. And I know you can't afford to miss that. Oh, don't you want to confess this time again? No, it's not like that, Tina. I've not paid for the lesson, that's why. 
I will still fail, but I don't want to pay yet. <laughs> the friends should try and pay to start to be enjoying the lesson. Meanwhile, come and join me. It will last the both of us. Now you talk, Amo. I did not beg you. <laughs> yeah, I feel a child before you say I finish your food. Let me tell you on time, Mo. Even if I'm not hungry, but I go still chop well, well. Hey! Yes, it, John. Even if we finish it, I will still buy snacks. My mom gave me money for snacks, too. All those things are small to do something. This is not good. I love. Me money for snacks, but I said no. Snacks is for small children. That doesn't mean if you give me, I will not eat. Though. I will eat, but I cannot buy it. It's childish. Ah, Stella, snacks is good. I don't know where you are getting all these information from. As for me, I prefer snacks to food. Young game. <laughs> you shouldn't be following me. You know that's right. It's my cross. Let me carry it. I know, Lola. I know it's not easy for you. I understand the tribulations, humiliations, and everything you pass through. But I believe everything will be fine. Okay? You have to be a strong girl. James, it's nobody's fault. I mean, if not for my sick mom and all that temptation I touched, what is poor thing I can't cause you to pay? But I believe there's reason for everything that happens in life. Don't bother yourself, James. I'll be fine. You never told me your mom is sick. Look, you can always share your problems with me. If there's any how I can help, then I promise to help. Can I follow you home and see your mom? No, you can't. My place is not meant for people like you. And besides, your friends might have been looking for you. I think you should start going back to school. No, I insist, please. I would really love it if you can permit me to follow you home. The background or anything doesn't matter to me. I mean, it could be anybody living there. And that I'm a big man's son cannot make me isolate people. James, why do you seem so nice? But your friends don't. Like, how do you even become friends with them? They are very arrogant and annoying. But you are cool, friendly and understandable. Aww. Can we not talk about my friends now? Everybody have their own way of life. And I can't possibly be like them. I do my things my own way. Regardless of what they will say. Speaking like a real man. But remember, bad company corrupts good manner. I think that bad character might influence you one day. Lola, how are you now? I'm fine. Good afternoon, ma. Afternoon. This one where you they come back from school by this time with your boyfriend. <laughs> Hope everything they okay. Ah uh ah -uh now, Madame Ugo. He's not my boyfriend. He's just my classmate. And we are going to get something I forgot. Everything is fine. Okay. Oh. Now, fine boy, Sha. You fit consider him as your boyfriend before get away, Sha, pass you go collect him from you. <laughs> Madam Ugo. I just did talk. Meanwhile, in the evening, you go bring tomatoes for me, make a buy. I won't cook stew today. No problem, Madam Ugo. I go come. You know, well done. Wow, you never told me you sell tomatoes. And I've told you to be telling me things about yourself. James, has it been too long you started talking to me? All of these days, you and your friends used to mock me. Is it then I'm supposed to be telling you about myself? Look, I'm sorry for those days. I'm really sorry. But I always advise them to stop mocking you. But they will not adhere to me. It's okay, James. It's understandable. You're the good guy and you're the bad guy trying to corrupt the good guy. My advice to you is to be careful with the kind of people you roll with. For they will give you label. I promise to be careful. Shall we? Let's go. No run, no, because we get dog. <laughs> How are you? And how is your sick mom? Hope she's getting better. Not at all, Uncle. <laughs> Uncle, please, I know that things are very tough now. I know that the country is hard. But Uncle, you have to help us this time. 
My mom is badly sick and she needs medical attention. The bill she is taking seems less effective. And I myself have been thrown out of the school because I won't pay my school fees. Uncle, please, we need financial assistance. You know you are the only one we have. Lola, you always come at the wrong time. How much are we talking about? 15,000 Naira, sir. Actually, Lola, I don't have such amount of money now. Because I just cleared my dues and I have no money left with me now. Okay, Uncle. Even if you can't help me with the complete money, just help us with 7,000 Naira. Let me take mom to hospital. She's dying. It's the same thing we are saying, Lola. There's no money on ground to give to you. See what will happen here. Go and come back in week time. I'm quite being serious here. It's a matter of life and death of my mom. Your own blood sister. I know that. But you see, my hands are tied. I don't have any money on ground to give out now. And I said come back next week. Uncle, let me get this straight. Is it that you don't have money to give out? Or you don't have money at all? Because I don't understand. I said I don't have money to give out now. That's it. Uncle, you are wicked. You are a ritualist. Ibo yo go. I used to hear that Ibo men are in love with money. Now I know. Do you think if my dad had anybody in his family, I'll be here wasting my time begging for now 15 k There's only enough to fuel your car. Because I know that we the Eurobars are not wicked like you fools called Ibos. That can never help someone in need, including your own blood sister. You are a ritualist, uncle. I don't fear you. Not your mouth, Lola. Besides, did they give me any money to keep for you? Did your dad give me any money to keep for him before he died? Don't come here and say rubbish before you get me upset, young lady. Uncle, remember that karma is real. Now you are claiming that my dad did not give you any money to keep for him before he died. But you forgot so soon that my dad was behind all your succession, if not blood money you did. Remember you had no one but my dad trained you in school, starting from your hundred level till you graduated. He made sure you never asked for anything he did not give to you. He sponsored you all through your education, starting from hundred level. How did you get this information? Look uncle, I'm not dumb. I know everything about you. You're a wicked soul. After everything my dad did for you. And you have the gut to open this your mouth to ask me if my dad gave you money to keep for him. Have you ever helped me with anything I begged you? I already knew you were a wicked and stingy uncle. I've made up my mind not to beg you for anything again. It's true that I don't know what to do on this one. That's why I came. But it's not different. It's still the same. Lola, I don't think all this you're saying is necessary. I mean, I told you to come help me and be securing one of my shop. And I will be paying you greatly. But you refused. At least, you would have thought of how the money will help you and your family. Can you see rubbish comments from your mouth? I should come and do sales game for you so you could be paying me. I should leave going to school and come and serve you. Your sister's daughter. You get mine though. You get strong hearts, I swear. Is it that I don't have money to take care of my family? How many are we? Who could have money? Live in this big mansion. We have to leave us to suffer. Ah, Uncle, why are you wicked? Why are you so heartless? Lola, because of what your dad did for me, I said go home and come back next week. That's when I will have money to give to you. I can't possibly turn myself to money now. Uncle, this will be the last time I will set my foot into your house to beg for anything. And my mom, she sent a message. She said if she dies, you never know peace in your life. Wicked so. Have a nice day. Oh, please, can I get the money? You know your parents listen to you more than mine. Please, just ask them for the money. I know they will give it to you. What if they ask me what I want to use the money for? What will I tell them? You know how protective these people can be over money. Soon too, just find one thing and tell them. Probably you can tell them you want to use the money for your school stuffs. Sunto, please. I didn't need this money. What is friendship if a friend cannot help a friend in terms of situations like this? James, to be honest with you, I can't start asking my mom or my dad for thinking. Ah ah, the money is huge now. And besides, I don't know what you want to use the money for. You can simply just tell your mom to give it to you. What? It's not like our food is served. 
and your parents are waiting for you to join them. I'm not eating. Everybody should leave me alone. Uh uh, small girl, what is it? Get out. What? Get out of my room. I don't want to see anybody. Uh uh, Titi, what is it? Why is he shouting at you? I don't know, ma. I just came to tell you that food is served. And he started shouting at me. Maybe he's in a bad mood or something. Step aside first. My love, what is it? What is bothering you? Talk to me. You know I'm your mom and your good friend. You can talk to me, okay? Mom, I'm fine. I'm okay. No, you're not. I know when you are fine. Talk to me, baby. What is it? I said if I tell you now, will there be a solution to it? <coughs> Leave me alone, please. You can always tell me, baby boy. If it's something that has solution, then we'll find the solution. Okay? What is it? Mom, I need urgent thank you like this now. I want to use it for something very important. Please, can you help me with it? Is that why your mood is like this? Cheer up, my baby boy. You know you have not asked me for anything and I refuse giving it to you. So tell me, my boy, what do you need the money for? Mom, is it necessary? I mean, you can just give me the money. You know I want to use it for something illegal. Please help me, mom. It's necessary I know what you want to use the money for. I did not say I will not give you the money. But I need to know what you want to use it for. 10,000 is not a small money. Mom, I don't think I can tell you. I don't think you will support my movement. If you want to help me with the money, please do. I promise I won't use it for something illegal. James, my son, I'm your mother. And I will support every of your movement. As long as it's for good. Please tell me. What do you want to use the money for? I promise, I will give you the money. Okay, mom. There's this friend of mine that is still struggling to pay her debt in school. And she really don't have anybody to help her. I need the money so that I can support her. Please, mom, don't discourage me. Things are really hard for people as I do. Please, mom, if you can help me with this money, I will really appreciate. I'm just doing this out of pitiness I have for her. Please help me, mom. No problem. I will help you with the money. Being kind to people is a good thing. Aww. But at the same time, you should be very careful with the kind of people you help. Not every dying soul deserves a help. Some are extremely wicked in which they can turn your kind gesture to another thing. So be very careful, my son. Okay, mom. Thank you. So when should I be expecting the money? Anytime you need it, just come to my room and collect it. Or tomorrow, once you are set for school, you come, I will give it to you. Thank you very much, mom. I love you. Aww. I love you too, my boy. Get up, let's go and eat. Mimi, my beloved daughter. I don't think I can make it anymore. What? I just want you to know that mom loves you so much. Okay? What is this one saying? Mom, this is not only me though. You are making it. Nothing is going to happen to you. Okay. Who do you want to leave me and sister for? Mom, please, see another thing. Not that you can make it. My daughter, you will not understand. By the way, where is your sister? She went to Uncle House to know if he can give her money. Mom, you'll be fine, okay? Once she comes back, we'll take you to the hospital. And doctor will treat you fine, okay? Mommy! 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 Mommy, stop now! Answer me now, Mommy! Hey, God! Sister, come back home, Mommy! Mommy! I'm still here, my daughter. Don't worry, I'm not leaving you in this wicked world. Mom, you scared me. Why will you do that? I want you to be strong, okay? Nothing is going to happen to me. Mom, stay here. Let me go and look for sister. I guess she's supposed to be on her way back. No, don't go. You're too small to be going out the door. I want you to stay here with me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, mom, you'll be fine. Mom? Mom? Mommy? <coughs> mommy? Mommy? Mommy, please wake up. Still, I'm coming. Stop crying. Let me find back so you can take mommy to.
to hospital. Please be fast. Mom, I need to talk to you about something. Vera, as you can see, mom is getting ready for work. But anyway, what is it you want to talk to me about? It's the vacation, mom. Family vacation. So we can spend time together like family. No love is sweeter than being with your family and having a good time together. Fair, I've told you this, that I and your father don't have time for vacation. Your father is running for another company, trying to expand his company and income streams. And I myself fighting for the post of general manager in my office. So you see, my dear, there must be time for all this vacation stuff. Mom, you see, that's my problem with you guys. People that call yourself my parent don't have time for me. Always busy with work, work, work. And I'm sure that's the reason why I'm the only child. Because if you people have time to be making out, another child could have come. Will you shut up your mouth, young lady? Always speak of your parents in such manner. The life you are living, are you not enjoying it? Are you not comfortable? Do you lack anything, young lady? I'm asking you. We work so hard just to see we provide for you. Why can't you be reasonable for once? Mom, you think everything is all about money, right? You and that thought the love, caring you can give to your one and only child is money. Mom, did your parents train you this way? Did your parents raise you up this way? Answer me, Mom. I love you. You're a lucky child, my dear, to have a parent who are doing well and provide for you all your needs. I never knew my parents. My mom died while giving birth to me, and my father died after. I grew up catching for myself and being a strong lady because I know I had no one, no love, no caring, or I still have to work hard and manage to go to school. That's why I married your father so early. So my dear, you are one of the luckiest child in the whole wide world. Is your story now an excuse for not taking care of your daughter? Okay, I'm lucky that I have you both, but still making me regret ever knowing you both. What is the value of having a parent that doesn't have time for me? All they think about is work. How am I supposed to feel the parental love? No mutual relationship. How bad? This is no fair now. Vera, I think it's high time you find a man. Get married and live happily. Your troubles in this are becoming so unbearable. Are you a kid or what? Get to see your mates out there working, looking for means to make money. And you are here looking for love. Aren't you supposed to be ashamed of yourself? Are you a baby? Mom, as long as this house is consigned, I'm still your baby. But it's fine. It seems like I bother you both a lot. It's fine. I will stop. My happiness mustn't lie on you guys. From now henceforth, I will do whatever that pleases me and makes me happy. Not even you nor dad have the right to stop me. And I will count myself like one that doesn't have parents. <laughs> to her in Jesus name. Just calm down and stop crying. The daughter will take care of her, okay? Sister, I'm scared though. Don't you see that one was vomiting blood? What sign is that? I don't know. But I trust the doctors. They will do their work. You don't know, but you're a science student. What? Were you a candidate at that? And aiming to be doctor. <laughs> and you don't know what it means when someone cough out blood. Stella, I'm not in the mood for all this or talk now. I just pray mom will be fine. Hello, doctor. Please ask my mom. Tell me she's fine. Well, young lady, your mom wants to speak with you. And after that, you'll come to my office. Alright, doctor. Can we go in now? Yeah, sure. But make sure you don't stress her. Alright, doctor. Let's go. Mommy, don't worry. Everything will be fine. The doctor will treat you and everything will be fine, okay? My daughter. 
I'll to tell you something. You both have to be strong. Be strong for mommy. Just now and understand the nature of life. That whatever happens from now is the will of God. I'm not saying something is going to happen to me. But you both should bear it in mind that if I die now or later, it's the will of God for me. And you both have to be strong. And let love, happiness grow in your midst. I know it's going to be hard for little Stella. Because she's too small to handle all this sin. If anything happens, Lola, my lovely daughter, I want you to hold her for me. And don't let tell how mommy loves her. Mom, what are you saying? This whole thing sounds like a threat to me. Mom, we are at the hospital now and the doctors are going to treat you fine. And we'll all be out of here at once. Nothing is going to happen to you, Mom. I strongly believe so. Amen, my daughter. Nothing is going to happen to me. Please, Stella, stop crying. Okay? I know everything is going to be fine. Meanwhile, Mom, I'll have to rush to the doctor's office. I don't know why he's calling me. Let me just go and see him. I love you, Mom. And nothing is going to happen to you. I believe so, my dear. Lola, you see, the sickness disturbing your mom has been eating her up lately. You were supposed to have brought her to the hospital earlier before now. Liver cancer is not something to do for so long and be drinking pills for. That is why it is advisable to anyone to go to the hospital direct so you will know the kind of sickness you are battling with. Doctor, you and I know that everything you are saying is making me scared. Does it mean my mom is going to die? Does it mean that the sickness have eaten her up to the point that nothing could be done? I don't know. Please don't talk to me before I run mad. Lola, calm down. I never said nothing could be done. I'm just saying that the disease have eaten her up to the point that her health value is decreasing every day and causing a lot of damages to her body system. You see, Lola, the treatment of hepatic cancer which is liver cancer depends on the stage. Assuming your mom came for proper treatment long ago, it wouldn't have been this worse and it would have been less expensive to treat her. But as it stands now, it has entered the stage in which she needs a liver transplant. I don't understand, doctor. What are you trying to say? Lola, your mom has a hepatic cancer, which is liver cancer. And she needs a liver transplant. Doctor, this whole scenario is turning my brain. So how much is this going to cost, doctor? For me, I think the best way to treat your mom is to fly her abroad for proper medical treatment. But when looking at things, that won't be possible. Doctor, what are you saying? Who won't fly her abroad? Where the money? We don't have any help, doctor. Please, is this sickness not treatable in Nigeria? It is, it is. I never say so. It's just that there are a limited number of hospitals that can treat cancer here in Nigeria. Doctor, can take her to one of it. So, doctor, how much does it cost to treat this cancer? 3.5 million. Hey! Doctor, you say? Calm down, young lady. You don't need to shout. This is a corporate hospital. Don't shout, please. So you won't disturb our patient. Doctor. 3.5 million naira, and you are telling me not to shout. Doctor, where I won't start from? Who won't give me 3.5 million? Doctor, make a no lie. Since today, not only Garima and my sister drink, we never even chop food. And you are saying I should not shout, Doctor, for 3.5 million. Calm down, Lola. I understand that the money is too much, but there's nothing we can do. You can let your people know so that they will find a solution on time. Doctor, which people? We don't have anybody. 
no uncle, no relation. We are just on our own trying to survive in this wicked world. Doctor, I won't lie to you. I don't know my left and right now. I feel like just passing out. This suffering is too much, Doctor. Lola, you don't have to feel that way. You see, I understand everything you might be passing through now. But I want you to remember that there is always a light at the end of a tunnel. All hope is not lost, okay? These are temptations that happen to great people. So don't let situations like this make you think otherwise. Doctor, where am I going to get 3.5 million naira? For my entire life, I've not seen or touched 100,000 naira. And you are here mentioning 3.5 million. Alright, Lola. I understand. You know, I myself have also encountered situations like this. And I understand how you feel right now. What will happen is that I will give or rather donate 1 million naira Aww. so we'll be left with a balance of 2.5 million doctor thank you so much for this kind gesture i really appreciate but doctor can you start treatment when i look for the money my dear that won't be possible you see i'm not the one going to operate on her so you need to pay in the money complete before the doctor can start any surgery on her it's fine doctor you've tried for me i'm not ungrateful I'll just find my way around it. The Lord is your strength, my dear. Thank you. Ikechuku. Ikechuku. Dad, I'm right in front of you. I can hear you, Dad. How many times did I call you? Three times, Dad. Good. When are you bringing her to me? When are you becoming a responsible man? Dad, I thought you had the discussion earlier. I'm not ready now to settle down. I'm still a young guy. I still have time to make the right choice, Dad. Aww. I promise you, when I see the right person, I will let you know. But for now, I'm still searching. My son, you know my ancestors are calling. Very soon I will step down. And you know the condition I gave you over my properties. Yes, Dad. If I can't present the love of my life, I won't be able to take over the company from you. I know that, Dad. But I'm still searching for her. This is not something to rush. It's a lifetime something. So one needs to be careful. I will present that to you when I find her, Dad. Don't worry. How can you be able to find her when you are busy doing shits around? Be warned. Go get a woman and make me a grandfather before I join your mother. Alright, Dad. I'll be quick with that. Don't worry. Meanwhile, how is work going? Um, it's going fine. Just that you know I'm getting old and I need to rest. That's why I need you to come take over the company for me so I can rest. Don't worry, Dad. I'll shock you one day. And you have your rest. Since you have decided that you won't hand over the company to me until I present to my woman. No problem. I'll do that. But you have to give me time. Go get a woman, son. Hi, babes. Can we party tonight? I'm just bored at home. No, girl, not in my house. Okay, this is the way we'll do it. We'll go clubbing first, then from clubbing, we'll come to my house and party more. But Vera, you never agreed to club with us for once. What happened all of a sudden? I know, right? I guess I'm going through some emotional pains. I need to just cool off, you know. Hey, yeah. My baby is going through a lot and she wants to cool off. Babe, everything will be fine. I'll come pick you up in the evening. Make sure you put on something sexy. Please, you're not going to church. Babes, it's just to cool off and nothing else. I know. Don't get it twisted. I'm just trying to be funny. Catch you up later. Yeah, bye. Why do my parents make me feel so sad? They don't care about my happiness. Abby, I should just run away so that they will feel it. 
no, 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 that's risky. Let me just go clubbing first and ease my pain. <laughs> but you know, you are a very sweet girl. In a talk, I'm, I'm telling you. Uncle, good evening. You know, you know, as you can see, someone is here to see me. You can go. Don't worry. I'll give you a phone call. Chief, Chief. What about the 1.7 million naira asked you? I told I want to add it up and buy a new car. Don't worry, Pino Pino. Send your account number. I'll do you well. Thank you, Chief. I might even buy you the car. Are you Instead please? of sending you the money to add up and buy. Chief, just send it. I'll buy it myself. Okay, if you say so. I'll do it after here. Thank you, Chief. Bye. Bye, Pino Pino. Fine game. Eh, uh -huh. Lola, what is it? What are you doing in my house after you insulted me? I'm sorry, Uncle. I'm very much sorry. I should have spoken to you the way I did. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry, Uncle. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. It's fine, Lola. I forgive you. You are my daughter. It's okay. Who all is well this time around? Stand up. Uncle, all is not well, low. My mom was admitted in the hospital, and the doctor said she has a liver cancer. Uncle, they say the money they use and treat her is 3.5 million. Uncle, my knees are on the ground. I don't want my mom to die. She's our only hope. Uncle, please, you have to do something. Save my mom, please. The doctor already volunteered to donate 1 million. So it's many 2.5 million, Uncle. Oh man, this is a very terrible situation. 2.5 million. When is the due time for the payment? Uncle, the doctor said that the money has to be paid completely before any treatment. And doctors also say that the disease has eaten her up to the point that her health value is decreasing every day. So, Uncle, the money is needed urgently so the doctor can commence treatment on her. Lola, all your thing is always urgent, urgent. The thing is, I don't actually have money at the moment. You know I have a lot of bills to clear. I don't really have money at the moment. Uncle C, please just save my mom. Anything you want me to do, I will do it. I can come and serve you for as many years as you wish. Please just save my mom, she's dying. Lola, it's not like I don't want to save your mom. Remember that she's my sister, and I love her so much. But this time is really a bad time for me. I don't really have such amount of money now. Uncle, you don't have money, but you're promising a lady a car. I never wanted to send her 1.7 million after here. Okay, Uncle, maybe you don't have up to 2.5 million. You can as well donate the one you have. Any amount is okay. Please, Uncle, don't let my mom to die. Lola, it's now that I know you are a greedy person. 1.7 million that I want to give to Pino Pino is what you are putting I. It is very greedy. And even if I want to buy her car, are you the one to tell me how to spend my money? Are you giving me what she's giving me? Can this girl? It is very greedy. Uncle, do you know I can actually tell your wife what I saw? Come off it. I know you can't do that. I can't do that because I'm not a wicked person like you. And I don't want to cause commotion in your home. But Uncle, you know one thing in this life. Kama is real, and it must surely hold on to you one day. I'm not in the mood to exchange words with you, Lola. Uncle, wait. Please, I'm sorry. Have me on us and help us. I beg of you, for the sake of blood, please help my mom, your only sister. Lola, when you are done, you close my gate. What? Don't stay too long before Poppy will bite you. Hi, pretty. I saw you from that end, seated here all alone, drinking alcohol. You know, right? Alcohol is the only medicine that can ease the pain I feel inside of me. I love alcohol. Okay, okay. So what's the name? My name is Ikechuku. Vera is the name. Nice name. You know, I was thinking, did you come here all by yourself or you came with friends? Actually, I came with two of my friends, but they are over there. Oh, I see. You know, I would really love to know you. 
You are such a pretty girl. It will be a pleasure to know you more. Oh, nice. Thank you. What and what do you want to know about me? You do the questioning and I do the answering. You know, I will ask you this first. Are you the only child of your parents? Yes, I'm the only child of my parents. Why do you ask? Do you know me before? No, I don't know you before, sir. You know, as the only child, you should be enjoying this parental love, attention, and most times you chill with your parents and communicate positively. Why don't my parents understand what family is all about? All they care is to make money. They don't even have time for each other, not to talk of me. You know, it's really painful and annoying. Why my parents will be treating me this way? That's why I'm here to cool off my head and forget about them. So tell me, how did your parents treat you? You know, Vera, I understand everything. And that's not fair of them. As a matter of fact, my parents don't treat me that way. Although my mom is late, but I still feel her presence. My dad, on the other hand, owns a very big company. You know, everybody is trying to make money. But at the same time, he shows me love and attention. We sit and talk man to man. My mom never played with me when she was alive. I got all the love a mother can give to her child. So why are you here? Since nothing bothers you, you have all the love and attention. So why are you here? Oh, your girlfriend broke up with you? No. I don't even have a girlfriend. What makes you think that everyone that comes to the club have problem? You know, clubbing is just my personal routine. Are you playing? I just love clubbing. I see, your personal routine. But that's a bad routine. You know, I wish I never had parents. I will just have it in my mind that I'm alone in this world. I think you have had enough alcohol. Don't drink again before you damage your body. You are annoying right now. I'm supposed to be telling you that. You come here every day, drink yourself to stupor. But to me, it's just my first time. And you are telling me I've had enough alcohol. Look, baby girl, it's your first time. You shouldn't take much of it. Because your body is not yet strong for it. And my react negatively. Do you care? Yes. I really do care. Aww. You know, as a matter of fact, I like you. I've been watching you from that end. And I really do like you. Are you asking me out already? I mean, you just met me at the club. And you're asking me out. It does not matter how long I've known you. What matters is if the heart connects. You are such a pretty nice girl. What do you want me to say now? You can say your mind. It's a free word. You can tell me anything. Come this boy, don't play with me. Don't even think I'm drunk. So don't think you can take advantage of me. I'm serious when I said I like you. I'm not playing with you. is this now eh look at the time and my husband is not yet back and his phone is not connected even that foolish girl i don't even know where she went is not yet back into this house i can't even care once it's tough i'll just go to bed everybody's good enough to take care of themselves talk of the devil and where are you coming back from by this time young lady how is where i'm coming back from your business <laughs> do you care to know where i was going before Please, mom, don't angry me. I'm really tired. Do you realize the more we are talking to in this manner? Have you gone nuts? Mama, what did I do you? Have I done anything wrong for trying to get my peace of mind that I cannot get in my family house outside? What audacity? What effrontery? I'm asking for the last time, young lady. Why are you coming back to this house by this time of the night? And who is that person that brought you home? Oh, that's my new friend I met today. He's so nice, so he brought me home because I couldn't find any cab outside. What about him? Vera, what have come over you? Do you even understand the consequences of what you're doing? You're living a wayward life. And so? Hey! Do you want me not to live the life of my choice? The last time I checked, you told me to do whatever that makes me happy. So why are you bothering me now? Why are you interfering in my happiness? Look, mom, I just had a great time of my life this night and I'm really tired. Please, I need to get some sleep. Have you heard from your father lately? I've been calling him but not connecting. Did you call him? Call him for what? 
the way he used to call that I would say, let me for that reason call him. I thought he's running some business and all that, trying to expand his business and income streams. So maybe you should go check your husband in one of those big hotels in Lagos. That's where super rich business moguls stay. I forbid you from saying that. Can you just shut up if you don't have anything relevant to say? How do you speak of your father like that? Behave yourself in this house, your young lady. Your father is supposed to come back today and he is saying rubbish. Mom, please keep calling him. He will pick. Meanwhile, I need to catch some sleep now. Come. Did the both of you? Are you playing? Who? The guy that brought you home, of course. No, 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 no. We just met. And the guy is such a nice guy. So nothing like that happened. After all, I didn't follow him to his house. This girl, be very, very careful. Good night, mom. It was really a nice time with you. I guess I would say today's my luckiest day going to the club because I met a damn cell like you. I want you to do me a favor. Take a shower and have a deep sleep. It will make you feel better. Thank you. You are not bad as well. You are caring, loving, and most especially courageous. Aww. Wow. Thanks for that. You've really made my night. Meanwhile, how is your parents? Please, next time you're having conversation, do not ask me about my parents. They disgust me a lot. Calm down. What have they done this time around? Can you imagine? I came back and she was asking me all sorts of questions, as if she cares. The one that pained me most was that she was asking me if I called her husband. Like, what is that? Am I the one marrying her husband for her? Vera, calm down. You don't have to say all these things to your mom. Probably she's just been caring. That's all. Caring? Is that how to care for someone? She didn't call me on phone, but she called her husband. Like, if I sleep outside, it's none of her business. Is that caring? Sometimes they make me think if I'm truly their child or I was adopted. For real, it bleeds my heart. All I ever wanted is a unite family. Family that understand yourself. But everyone seems to be comfortable with the way things are going on. Me, Seb, I have to find my own happiness. So. It's okay, Vera. They are your parents and you should respect them. That aside, so what are you doing tomorrow? I mean, it's weekend. Can we go out and chill together? Sure, we can go out. At least you are bringing happiness and light into my life. Thanks for that. And thank you for giving me that opportunity. It's okay. I will have to go now. I need to have some sleep. Thanks for the day. All right. Bye. Ah, <sighs> he's nice. Cause I believe in myself. Mm -hmm. I believe in myself. Nola, look at what you are doing to yourself. What if at the point of crying something happened to you? Who is going to take care of you not to talk of taking care of your mom? Yes, I know you are a lady. But in terms of situations like this, you have to be strong and put everything into prayer. Babe, so am I supposed to get such amount of money from? You are talking about my mom's life, remember? If I don't provide her money, she will die. James, what do you want me to do? She will not die. I know the money is big. Instead of crying, let's think of how we are going to get the money. Did you say we? Yes, of course. We are in this together. Aww. We are going to make sure we raise that money and save your mom, no matter what. Okay. So how are we going to get 2.5 million jeans? You know, it take is small money. James, even if I decide to sell myself now, who is going to buy me 2.5 million? God forbid. Now let's see what you are saying with your mouth. Rating yourself so low. Like, can you hear yourself? See, you see that money? You are going to get it by all means. See what will happen, Lola. Don't worry. I will speak to my parents about it. I believe they will help with the money. They have it. And as their son, they should help me with anything I ask of them. James, you want to ask your parents for 2.5 million. I will take ask them. James, I think this whole thing is somehow. Don't tell them anything, okay? Can you just leave this for me to handle? I know they will give me the money. Meanwhile, I asked my mom to help me with 10,000 naira that I want to give it to you for your school bills. And this is it. I couldn't find you in school all of these days, so I kept it for you. Thank you very much, James. I can't believe you could be this nice. You have done enough for me. Thank you. 
I have to go now. Take good care of yourself. And thank you once again for the money. You're welcome. Be strong, okay? I trust you. Lola! Please wait. There's something I've been wanting to tell you. Okay. What's that? No. It's fine. Let's leave it for another day. Take care of yourself. You too. Stella, how are you now? It's been a long time. It's been long you came to school. I went to your house, but they told us you are in the hospital. What's wrong? Are you sick? I'm not sick. Rather, my mom is sick, and I'm the one taking care of her. I know you missed me a lot. A lot, Stella. I always want to see you every day. But after waiting for you, I will not see you. I don't know you are in the hospital. So sorry, Stella. I'll pray for your mom and she will be fine. Amen, Tina. I believe that something is going to happen to her. So what's up now? How is school? Where is the person you came with? Oh, she went to get me some snacks. She will be back soon and we we'll start going. But Stella, I really miss you in school. Aww. And soon, we we'll start writing an exam. How are you going to do it? Nothing. I'm not going to do anything. Even if he miss me repeating class, I will repeat. As long as my mom is going to get better. See now, Tina, I'm the only one taking care of her. What do you expect me to do? Leave her and start going to school? No, now, I need to take care of my mom. What is it? Why are you crying? I feel for you a lot right now. I don't even know. Look, Stella, I'm really sorry for all this, please. You have to be strong. You will not repeat any class, even if you can't make it to the exam. I promise I will help you arrive and see that we enter the next class. I can't leave you behind for any reason. Thank you very much, Tina. You are more than a friend. Very soon, we'll be out of this place. Amen. Let's say a prayer for your mom. Heavenly Father, King of Glory, the beginning and the end. Your children are here again before you. Please, O oh Lord, come and heal Mama for us. Make her stand strong for us. Manifest to the doctor that will operate on her. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord. For we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Tina. I owe you a lot. You are welcome. Anything for you, bestie. Choice and I'm done watching the podcast. I'm done watching your clothes, Dad. Um, wait, James. You are done watching the cast and doing all the house choice. But why? Nobody asked you to do that. Or did you ask him to do that, honey? You know, I can't do that, my darling husband. So, why have you chosen to do all this, my son? Whereas we have a house help and a good man that can wash the car. Now, tell me, James. I know how hard you find it doing house chores. Why did you do that? What do you want? Thank you, Dad, for giving me the opportunity to speak. Go on, my boy. You are my father. And you are my mother. I know we are family. And I believe my happiness is supposed to concern the both of you. You know, Dad, I've not really asked you for anything serious like this one I want to ask you. Before I further more to telling you what I want to beg you, I want the both of you, my parents, to know that my life is in your hands. Because this thing I'm about to ask you is either you do it for me and I leave, or you don't do it for me and I die. I know you won't want me to die. What is it, my son? Whatever it is that is making you sound this way, tell us your parents. Dad, mom, my friend's mom has been in the hospital for days now, and she has a liver disease. The doctor said the bill for her treatment is 2.5 million naira, yeah. And she don't have anybody to help her. Just she and her small sister. As I talk to you now, she's mentally drained. Please, Dad. Please, Mom. I know this is very difficult to do. But remember that every good deed you do in this life is recorded in heaven. 
I want the both of you to join hands and let's help that poor girl. I need 2.5 million. Please, Dad. Please, Mom. James, we understand the fact that you have a pure heart. You always want to help the less privileged. And that's very good of you. But this time around, you are asking for something that looks impossible. 2.5 million is a very big money. You should have asked with your parents if you have such amount of money at the moment. Dad, I know we have it. You are rich. And mom is also rich. The both of you have it. James, my son, calm down. You know, you think because we provide for you whenever you want anything means that we have the money all the time. You don't know that sometimes you have to take loan just to invest very well and make sure we provide for you and your brother overseas. As a matter of fact, James, we don't have such amount of money now to give to you. We would have loved to help your poor girlfriend. But you know they be saying you no know day. Hope you understand. I don't understand that. What? Which one is you don't have money? My brother is in England studying. I know how much you are putting in his head over there. You begged me to go to a public school where they don't even pay school fees. Just 7,000 naira. I accepted. I didn't reason it like other children that goes to private schools. Had it been I'm in a good private school, you will never spend past 2.5 million naira starting from SS1 to SS3 now. That check it now. Have I ever complained to you that I don't like the school I'm going to? And I just ask for 2.5 million and you're making it look like I've asked for the whole world. Remember what I told you, Dad? It's either you do it for me and I leave, or you don't and I kill myself. Ah, uh, and uh, now, James, it hasn't gotten to that. Okay, my son, how about you give us time to look for the money for you? And besides, this guy you're talking about is not related to us. Why are you taking it upon yourself? So, mom, tell me. Must she be related to us before you can help her? For you? I thought you always preached that love is kindness. Being kind to people you know and people you don't know. I know the money is quite huge. But that's what is needed right now to save his soul. Please, do this for me. Even if it means me stopping education for the rest of my life. I will. I just want to save a soul right now, and that's all that matters to me. James, calm down and understand us. We don't have such amount of money now to give to you. And why are you making it look like you're owing anybody? Or have your friend bewitched you? What has come over you, boy? Your parents said they don't have money. Is that hard to understand? You're pissing me off right now, and I don't like it. This is the end of the conversation for me. Suit yourselves. Come back here, James. I said, come back here. You shouldn't have spoken to him in that manner. Can't you see your son is going crazy, woman? Remember his health condition. James, what is it? Why is Omo this way? Talk to me now. Is it not my parents? I told them I needed 2.5 million, and they told me they don't have money. Whereas I know they have it. Is that why Omo is like this? Cheer up. You don't have to be like this. You know that things are very hard now. And probably they may not have the money. Cheer up, okay? So what are we going to do? I don't want anything to happen to your mom. Because I know you can't bear it. How are we going to raise the money now? I don't know. I believe that God is seeing everything. If you allow my mom to die, fine. Let this will be done. I have plan B. Since I have begged my parents with pure mind to help me with the money. And they refused. How about you kidnap me? Hmm? Calm down. You will kidnap me. Then you call my father and demand for a ransom. I know they will bring out the money. By that way, your mom will be saved. You are insane, this boy. Have you started smoking? Lola, you have to understand me. These people are not ready to bring out this money if we don't take actions. Lola, I know you won't buy this idea. But we need to do everything possible to see that we raise that money. No! Count me up on this one, oh. I'm not a kidnapper and I will never be one. This idea no enter at all. What if your dad comes with the police to arrest me? What will be my gain? And even, that's stealing from your father. I can't do this, please. Lola, I'm the one telling you to do this. He's my father and I know him too well. He will bring out this money once we do this. 
and for bringing police he cannot try that or else you don't want to see me alive i cannot do this james this is pure professional arm robbery Aww. if you get caught don't you know we are going in for it lola we don't rather let your mom die instead of taking a risk to see her live think very well life is all about taking risk i can't take this kind of risk please james I sincerely like all the dress we've selected so far. They are really nice. Really? Oh, thank you. You know I love buying clothes a lot because I love fashion. You know, I'm planning on going into modeling. What do you think? Do you have the body fitness for it? Of course. You're a very pretty girl and you have a nice body shape. Aww. I think that would be a great idea. Thank you. My family wants me to do what I studied in school. Marketing. But I don't find joy in it. You know, I just want to be myself and do the things that gives me joy. I like modeling. I just want to be a famous fashion model. So I want to ask you, what job would you prefer your wife to be doing? Any job at all, as long as she's comfortable with it and nobody gets to molest her. You know, when you talked about fashion model, a lot of people get to touch you, hold you, by in the name of trying to give you the best. Even your cameraman will touch your boots, touch your buttocks, in the name of trying to dress you fine. And many wealthy men will also want to have your body, because they find you attractive. So you see? That's not true. It's what you believe. It can only happen when you are using your body to make fame. Sayabi is 150,000 naira. Cash or POS? POS. I have my card here. That's a slap on my face. What? I'm here, and you want to pay for it. No, don't misunderstand this. I don't want to scare you away with billings. I don't mind paying for it as long as I have the money. And I won't take what I can't pay for. That's for sure. So it doesn't mean anything if I pay. It's okay. Use my card. 4020. You're such a nice man. Thank you. It's nothing, Vera. So where are we heading to after you? I don't know. You want us to go to your house? Or a hotel? Why? What are you going to do in the hotel? Nothing, just checking something. My mind, sorry. So you suggest, where should we go to? You know, I have work to do, so I'll be making everything snappy. I just want to spend time with you. How about we go to the beach? Sorry, sir. Sorry for interrupting you guys. I, the son of Mr. Okmara, the popular world business mogul, and the owner of Okmara and Sons Company Limited. Yes, is anything the matter? No, not at all. I'm a huge fan. I used to read about you on magazine. I'm very lucky to meet you today. Can I take a picture with you? Please. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let me get your clothes. What's that all about? Are you this famous? How come I didn't know about you? I am not famous. Brother, my father is famous. He's a very wealthy man. He likes charity a lot. So a lot of people knew him. For me, I haven't been in the country since high school. I just came back not too long ago because my dad is getting old and he wants to retire and make me the general manager to his properties. Wow, you never told me about yourself. And I guess I never asked. So you are more like a celebrity and I'm sure many girls will be crushing on you, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm not a celebrity. My father is popular due to his kind heart. So people get to read about him and his family in newspaper and all that. I see. So is that why she'll be jumping on you like that? You don't know it somehow. What? Are you being jealous right now? Jealous of what? Well, it's your body, not mine. It's none of my business. Even if the whole girls in this world will come and be jumping on you, it's none of my business. that will come and take care of my mom hospital bill. Please, I don't want anything to happen to my mom. She's all I have. Please, God, I'm begging in the name of God. Mm, sorry, in the name of Jesus. What? Hey! Uh -uh. Stella, you are here. How are you doing? I'm not fine. Where are you going to? I came to see my sister. That's your mother. How is she doing? None of your business. Did you bring the money for our treatments? If it's not bring it, oh yeah, bye bye dear. 
Carry yourself, come out for this hospital. Because my mom doesn't want to see you. Why are you talking to me in this manner, little Stella? Eh, eh. Do not call me little Stella again. Am I lifting your eyes? Uncle, I just have one question to ask you. And I will appreciate it if you answer me. Why are you wicked? Why are you such a wicked uncle? Answer me. Stella, what is this all about? Since when did you lose your manners? You don't have sense of reasoning anymore. Like, who is even feeding you with all of these things you're saying? Because you are too small to stand in my presence and be asking me stupid questions. Like, you lack home training. Look who is talking of home training. You think I will be afraid of you? Afraid of someone that will help to help my mom pay her bills. Is that that you just leave this premises, uncle? She might pass out if she see your face. Please go. Is it me you're talking to like that? I will just eat you now. Eh? Hit me. Hit me now. That's the only thing you have power to do. Help someone you cannot help. Sir, please stop. She's just a little child. How can a little child like this be talking to me in this manner? Are you not there from the very beginning? You saw how she was talking to me. Am I her mate? Sir, please calm down. This is a health center. You cannot just beat up a child here. Try and understand the poor girl. Mm? I am not poor. Again, me that is still starting life, you're saying I'm poor. Leave him to come and beat me now. Will you shut up, you this small girl? I will not shut up. Don't call me a small girl again. When an elderly person loses respect from children, what do you expect the children to do? Leave him if you want to beat me. Let him come and beat me. He thinks I'm afraid of him. Leave him. Hey! Uh uh, you leave him. <laughs> Are you the one ranting that I should leave him? Just you actually want him to beat me and point of correction i'm not ranting uh -uh. Uncle, why is your body so strong <laughs> Uncle, good afternoon. how are you doing stella let this be the last time you talk to me like this if you try it again i will correct you in a hard way that you won't like Sorry, that was the old me. This is the new me now. Aww. You said you got to the hospital to do, to do what exactly? I came to see your mom. Come and show me where she is. Why? Because she's my sister and I need to see her. Why? Because I love her so much. Why? Stella, <laughs> enough of all this. Why are you doing this now? Okay, I know what you want. I will give you money for biscuits while living. Don't worry, I know what your biscuits are beg. Just go straight like this. Then by your left, you will see her. Why don't you come and show me at once? You go go and be no go go. <laughs> so, Antinos, you actually want him to beat me. Why did you leave him? You don't know that man is very wicked. You are the one that said I should leave him now. You are supposed to know that I didn't mean it. Ah uh ah, -uh. Stella, the direction you gave me leads to the doctor's office. <laughs> yes, I know. You have to pay her hospital bill before I show you where she is. <laughs> Are you sure this is going to work? Me, I'm scared though. You don't have to be scared. Just follow my lead. Now, you will take the call. Answer him with boldness. And twist your voice to look like you look out. He might suspect if you just tell him to bring 2.5 million. So increase it to 4 million. Uh uh! That's too much now. I'm talking of the one you're doing and still doing another one. Me, I don't buy this idea. One thing with you is that you're always afraid. What's wrong with you now? You want to be him same 2.5 million and you don't know you will suspect. Instead of you to be bringing more idea on how we are going to make this mission successful, you're here clean the vibe I have already. I don't like it though. Focus, let's do this. You should have said 2.6 million, which is 4 million. It's very good now. Okay, the rest of the money, how are you going to do it? We will give it to the motherless baby soon if you don't need it. Um, but wait, why are you doing all this for me? Why do you want to help me? Because me, I have checked. I have nothing to pay you back on. Are you seriously asking me this right now? If you don't want me to help you, I can stop. Sorry now, I'm just being careful. Please continue. It's ringing. Once you pick it, you then tell him everything. Make it professional, please. If you get choked, you end the call ASAP. Okay. Hello? Yes? Who am I speaking with? You are speaking with kidnappers. They have a son here with us. Which of my son are you with, young lady? How many children do you have this man? 
James, of course. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I thought James is inside. When did he leave this house? James! James! Ah, uh -uh. It's true. So, young lady, what do you want? Look, Mr. Man, you have to cooperate with everything I say, or else we'll shoot your son. We are not here to joke. You will give us four million naira before we can release your son. Are you playing? Failure to do this. We will kill him and dump his body in the river. The choice is just to make. Calm down, kidnapper. You are rushing this whole thing. The truth is, I don't have four million to give to you. I don't even have half a million to give to you now. But this is what will happen. Let's say by weekend. Let me see if I will see where to borrow money. Tell him it's too far. Hmm? Tell him it's too far. Ooh. Daddy, please give them whatever thing they want. I'm not good here. These people are maltreating me. Please. James, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll get you out of that place soon. Don't panic, okay? Hope they are not beating you. Dad, these people have really dealt with me. Bruises all over my body. Dad, please bring me out of this place. I don't think I will survive here in the next two days. Don't worry, James. I will bring you out very soon. But you know, I already told you I don't have money now. How about you tell them that I will give them two million naira? Let me look for something to sell. Dad, these people are not selling pepper now that you'll be pricing them. I don't think that we agree. So just get them the money. Hey, Mr. Man, time up. Do not mess with us. Because if you do, you won't like the outcome. Get the money ready and get back to us. Please, don't hurt my son. I will get you the money. Please, make sure you give him something to eat. No worry. We'll go feed him, Gary. Bye-bye. <laughs> wait, wait. What kind of temptation is this one now? When did James leave this house and I didn't know? Wow, nice acting. You tried. You acted professionally. James! James! Hmm. I just hope this doesn't cast. Use your hair though. Me no go like go prison. Don't worry. Nothing is going to happen. Don't be afraid. Okay, if you say so. I have to rush to the hospital now. Okay, no problem. Let's go. Go where? Ah, have you forgotten I'm now in your captive? Where do you want me to go? I'll go with you now. Ha, huh, James. Okay, let's go. My son, I don't know how my body is doing me. Like I'm weak and it's doing me like there is a heavy block in my chest. I need to see the doctor. So sorry, dad. Have you been working lately? Maybe it's stress from work. No, son. This one feels terrible. I don't know. I really need to see the doctor. Meanwhile, how did you go? You know I was hoping you are going to come with good news anyway. Yes, dad. There is plenty good news. You know, I understand that all this happening to you is stress from work. But don't worry. Very soon, I will do what you ask of me. So I can take over the company and you can then rest. That's very thoughtful of you, my son. So is there anyone you're seeing? Of course, Dad. That's why I said I have good news for you. You know, as a wealthy and famous man, a lot of ladies will always want me, chasing me here and there because of their selfish interest. That's why I need to be careful with the kind of lady I choose. But I can bet you that this one I found now has it all. She don't even know me that will say she's coming close for her selfish interest. She's a good girl. I must tell you dad. That's very good. So when are you introducing her to me? Not to rush dad. Hopefully during the week. <laughs> <laughs> dad. Dad. <laughs> what? Musa? Musa? Doctor, what is wrong with my dad? You really have to calm down, young man. I promise you'll be fine. Trust me. Doctor, which one is you'll be fine? We were just having conversation and all of a sudden he started coughing. And that's it. Okay, I know he was complaining of having chest pain. But has he gotten to this extent? Doctor, you really need to do something. I won't take it if anything happens to my dad. Calm down, young man. There's no cause for alarm. All I'm saying is that you should be patient so that I can check and know the exact thing that is wrong with your father. 
become, man. Doctor, is anything holding you from checking what is wrong with my dad now? I don't like this, so. This is how you people used to feel reluctant until something happened to the person. I promise you, I'm going to sue this hospital if anything should happen to my father. Are you done talking? Since I've been telling you to calm down, you don't want to hear. Fine, I know he's your father and you don't want anything to happen to him. But at the same time, you cannot teach me my job. You have to be calm and allow me to do my work. Please, it's okay, doctor. I will allow you to do your job. As you said, I cannot teach you your job. But when I will teach you your job is if anything should happen to my father. You will see the meaning. I don't really understand you. Are you here for violence or you want medical attention? But let me tell you, I'm only respecting you because you are my client. And there are many patients you are disturbing. No try this rubbish outside with me. I go enter you. <laughs> Forget say I wear white. I go enter you full time. Even you no go get mouth to talk. Hey God. Not the way you can no go see. Even doctor they change them for me. It's okay. Let's all be matured here. I will also respect you because here is your office. Enjoy. Take your time and do your work. But please. Make sure nothing happens to my father. I'll be back, sir. Kai! Nothing I no go see. I shouldn't try that side with you. You go in time. Me. Chai! My dear, there's this guy I met that day I followed you to the club. The guy has been so nice and caring. I think I'm beginning to like him. Babe, you should say do okay. Is there something wrong with your head? I just wanted to give me good news that the guy gave you money. So if you ask for some treats, I will plan a talk for the both of you. You are telling me I begin to like a guy meet at the club. You people say never chop heartbreak before. If you understand that there is no love in this era. It's a lie, Pinopino. You lied on this one. When are you going to stop this nonsense life you are living and find love? You girls have made this decision that true love doesn't exist again. And that's what it is. Where is the lie? A guy and a girl are two different gender. They both understand what they want, sex and money. So you just have to be very wise and package yourself so you get enough pay. Do you know how much Chief gave me last week? 2.2 million. So you see, it's how you package your market that you get a good pay. Look at they just say they love you. They go scatter your hearts for you. Those genders are very wicked. Be wise though, I cannot come and be consoling you when you start crying. So Pina Pina, now you go marry yourself. Abi, you don't want to build your own family and have kids. Now tell me, are you not going to love the man you are going to get married to? Answer me, Napinopino. You don't know that relationship is like job hunting. You try in this company, it doesn't favor you. They will not make you stop submitting your CVs to different companies until you find a good job. You keep on trying and trying till you get what you desire. That's the philosophy of life. All this one I'm saying is for you. If I try job hunting and it doesn't favor me, then I'll try hook up. Jesus is Lord! Me die. Me I don't get time to waste though. At least I still money go collect. What is on the come? Hello? Hello, my baby girl. My Oyoyo. How are you doing? I'm not fine, no chief. You promised to send me money for my upkeep for the weekend. And I haven't seen it till now. I really don't want me to look good for you again. Me I don't like it though. But it's not too long I sent you 2.2 million, you know, you know. Ah, ah, now, have you want to kill me with billings? Chief, what are you even saying? Look, if you cannot take care of me, I will look for someone that can take care of me. Oh. Yeah. Look at my hand now. I need to get it done. I told I wanted to change my phone. I don't do anything about it. I don't like this kind of thing. Oh. Pino, Pino, seriously, I don't have any money now to send to you. I'm currently out of money. I guess you should understand. I even sold my car just to please you. I don't understand this one you are saying again. Which one is that you don't have money? Me will block you if you cannot take care of me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Never reach like this now. Nah. See, eh? there is this contract I'm waiting for. Once I get the contract, I will spoil you with money. You know how I used to do now. Trust me. Amazing. Your baby needs money, please. Don't worry. I will spoil you with money soon. Meanwhile, I called you so to know if you can help me with small loan. Make I use the chase the contracts. 
Bakana ye yeah, shigi kill. Then they ask you man for money. Are you playing? Get out of my phone, I beg. It's okay. Let me go and know if my wife will help me with the money. Oh, my sweet wife. Ah uh ah, -uh, Pino Pino, that's too harsh. Someone that used to send you money is asking you for money and you cannot help him. I can't this life to help person. If he doesn't send me the money I ask him, I'll block him. Am I the cause of his brokenness? I beg. Okay, what is it? The way you sounded on the phone was quite scary. You said I should meet you at the hospital. Why? What's wrong? Who is sick? My dad. We are just having conversation. And before you know it, we are here. So what did the doctor say is wrong with him? Exactly what I've been asking that stupid doctor. And he's telling me to allow him to do his job. That I can't teach him his job. I'm just being calm because this place is a non-promotion center. If not, he will know me well today. He thinks I joke with my father. Eyes what I care. Your anger is getting much. You should please work on it. I'm sorry about that. Just that these doctors don't have rheumatillion hearts. All they think about is themselves. Very wicked set of people in life. If you don't speak up, they will mess you up. But today would have been a great lesson to him if not that I'm in his office. Like, can you imagine? What sort of stupid art is that? I respectfully ask him question. What is wrong with my father? And he's telling me to calm down. Ike, could you at least respect the fact that I'm here now? Aww. What you guys had was a misunderstanding. You shouldn't take it personal. It's my father we are talking about here. I know. And I also know that there is no way they are going to allow anything to happen to your dad. Believe me, they are not that heartless. Are you sure? Very sure. Sorry for stressing you down here. It's just that I needed someone to do it. It's okay. I mean, what are friends for? Don't worry about your dad too much. He will be fine. I guess it's old age that is disturbing him. But you will be fine, okay? Okay, thank you. Nola, I know it's not easy for you, considering your age and all that. But you have to stand fit and conquer it. So have you gotten anything so far? Doctor, nothing come out though. I've done everything within my means. The only thing I've not done is to steal or sleep around for money. Whatever that thing, I've done it. Lola, I know it's not easy for you. You've really been a strong girl. What about your uncle? Doctor, you won't believe it. My uncle, I'm meeting with a lady. <laughs> in my presence, is promising her a new car. And even sent her 1.7 million. When I asked him for help, he told me he had a lot of expenses to do, that he doesn't have money. I thought Stella told me he was here earlier. For you? And I didn't see him. Stella only told him to go and pay for the hospital bill, and he left. He even wanted to beat her up, if not for the nurses that was there. This uncle must be very wicked and selfish. What kind of a man is he? He's very wicked and stupid at the same time. Absolutely. Doctor, I'm really tired. Doctor, what about all these good Samaritans that used to once in a while come and help those at the hospital? They never come. No, 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 no one has come. But don't worry. I assure you, nothing is going to happen to your mother. I believe things will definitely turn out for good. Thank you very much, doctor. You've been more than just a doctor to me. The advice, courageous words, and the way you understand things light me up. I don't know how to repair your back. Once again, thank you. I was once like you. Nobody to help me. But God did it. I will have to attend to a patient now. I will see you later. Be strong, okay? With God, my first hope and you. I'm already strong. <laughs> you are funny. I thought the Bible said that problem that will be bigger than us will never be for us. I don't understand this one again. Omo, it's like this brother is depressed though. See the way he was talking to that doctor. He's very bitter. Should I go and talk to him? Mm -mm, this brother no look happy, I beg. Make I no go kole wato wato. Stella, respect yourself. Not everybody's happy. No, I will talk to him. What? Nothing will happen. Let me make him smile. Hello, uncle. Good day. Good day. How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, uncle, I saw what's happening inside. It seems you are bitter. 
I saw the anger, pains, and everything. What happened? <laughs> For you? I don't know you saw that. Actually, it was my dad. He's sick. So I brought him here. Only for the doctor to keep pissing me off. Mm -hmm. I was saying it in my mind. I know you will be a gentle person. I know it must be the doctor that is looking for your trouble. <laughs> Don't mind him, uncle. That's how they behave here. What? Like violence. <laughs> Even all this noise, that's how they behave. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have been here since now. I know how they behave. So tell me, uncle, what's wrong with your father? The doctor said he got kidney failure, so he will need a transplant. I guess he will be fine. I mean, I will donate mine to him. The doctor is already working on it. Uncle, sorry, what is kidney transplant? Aww. Oh, that's nice. Kidney transplant, or transplant in general, means replacing a damaged kidney with another one that is good and matches it. And this kidney can be gotten from a donor, which can be a relative or friend, as long as it matches it. So, on this case, I'm going to be my dad's donor once the doctor confirms that it matches. Wow, that's huge. I guess it's the same reason that brought us here. What? You mean your dad has a kidney failure? Not really. It's my mom. She has liver disease. So the doctor was saying she needs a liver replacement. So since then, my sister has been struggling to see if anyone can help us. But no positive results. My uncle that is supposed to help us, that I know he has the money, but he's very stingy on weekends. So we've just been hoping on God to send a helper that will help us. Are you serious? Where is your sister now? Probably on the streets where she's looking for help. Oh my God. What's your name, young girl? And why are you so smart? I guess you're supposed to be in school. You are right, you know. But situation tied me down. My name is Stella, and you? I am Uncle Ikechuku. Okay, Uncle Ikechuku. How are you going to do your dad's situation? Are you also going to be looking for money like us? No, not really. You know, it's nice meeting you, Stella. I like your courage, the way you walked up to me, with boldness, not minding that you are a very little girl. Nobody knows who their destiny helper might be. It all begins with conversing with one another. I must commend you are very brilliant, and I like you already. Thank you. So does that mean we are friends now? Because I was afraid initially that you might be bitter and unfriendly. So are we friends now? Absolutely, Stella. You know what? Let me know when your sister returns. I need to speak with her. Meanwhile, have you taken something? Have you eaten? That I never reach, uncle. I eat every evening. Wait. You mean you only have to eat once every day? And it's mostly in the evening. Eh uh -huh, now, sometimes I dream, Gary. All I'm just praying is for God to send an angel that will come and take care of my mom's hospital bill so that you can leave this place and start our tomato business. What? You hawk tomatoes? Hmm. You know what? Stop talking. Don't say anything again. Just tell your sister I want to see her when she returns. Meanwhile, We'll go and eat something, please. Sir, are you angry? Sorry for I go too upset. No, Stella, you didn't do anything. It's okay. How old are you? Six. Um, Mr. Ikechku, I'm sorry your kidney didn't match. And I'm sorry you have to look for another donor. Maybe a brother, a friend, or any relative at all that is or her own will match. Doctor, why? Why my own no match? Is he not my father? So why no match? Calm down, man. Sometimes this thing happens and it won't match. That doesn't mean he's not your father. This is not a DNA test. What you have to do now is to look for a donor for him. Doctor, this is going to be complicated. I'm the only child of my parents. My mom has passed away. So how do you want me to get a donor? In that case, we can help you look for a donor. But it will cost you a fortune. Doctor, do anything you can to save my dad. Money is not my problem. Okay then. Meet me in my office. Let's talk about it. Okay, no problem. Hello, honey. How are you doing? And the children? They are very fine. This one you are calling me. Hope there is no problem. Because you don't ever remember you have a family until something goes wrong. What is wrong this time around? Honey, why are you sounding like this now? 
Don't I used to check on you guys? Come off it now. Absolutely nothing is wrong. Just wanna check on my beautiful family. Ah, that's very nice of you. Caring father. Now you are talking like a man. So how is business? Hope you are chasing the money well. Honey, business is not going fine, no. Sales have been bad. But there is this contract I'm looking at that is going to bring a good amount of money to us. So honey, can you help me with a little loan? Please, I've currently gone broke. Once I get that contract, I will spoil you with money. Aww. That's my beautiful wife. Is that the reason why you called me? All those who side chick that eat your money, they don't to help you now. Do you ever remember you are married until something goes wrong? Please, my darling husband, I cannot give you this little money I'm managing. All in the name of love. Please kindly tell your side chick to help you. Baby, please. This money is going to bring much money and more connections. Please. I cannot help you at the moment, my darling husband. Bye bye. Wait, ba baby, wait. Don't end the call. Ah. Ah, the gum fully broke. Pinopino is a witch. Ojagum, nah. <laughs> now, when man broke, they realize his stupidity. He's spending my money on these girls. And now, to help me is a war. It is well. Receive sense, receive sense, receive <laughs> sense. Eh, uh -huh, sister, where have you been? There's this man that said he wants to see you. Who is the man? Stella, she be vacated to be looking after mom while I look for money. You be walking about looking for a man that wants to see me. Stella, hmm, you better be very careful how you walk about this whole hospital. Who said I was walking about? The man is my friend though. He's a very nice man. He said his father has, has, um, kidney failure. So they want to remove it and put another one. But his own didn't match with his father's own. So they are looking for a donor right now. I pity him, Sha. And he said he wants to see me. Why? What must you have told him? Nothing. He's just asking about what brought us to the hospital. So I told him and I told him about you. And then he said he would like to see you before the doctor interrupted. Stella, you too, the waka. Stay with mom is a big deal. You live will not be in one place. I just came to tell you, me and going inside. And he said he will carry me to go and eat. So let me tell you at once. Should I go with him? So Stella, you told him that you've not eaten. You cannot even cover your shame. Everybody must know that you've not eaten. She said not tell him anything. He just said he wants to buy me food. Hmm. Stella. Hmm. I'm going inside, please. Don't go anywhere without me, oh. Me too, I'm hungry. <laughs> Baby, I must have enjoyed myself today. The shopping, the treats, and the money you sent to me. I must have enjoyed myself. I'm glad you did. I guess it's home from here. Yeah, you know. But Chief, how about your baby owns this kind of place? Are you taking what I'm thinking? You don't have to send me money all the time again because I already have source of income which are provided for me. How do you see it, darling? I'm just saying no, because sometimes when you send me money, I used to feel for you. I'm just making a suggestion. Okay, that's a great idea. But you know, it will be somehow for me to establish this kind of place for you. While as my wife is at home, it will cost millions of naira. Am I not worth the millions, baby? No, baby. I never said so. Just that. Is she treating you the way I treat you? Is she giving you what I'm giving you? No, but... So what are you saying now? This is what I'm asking you to do for me for the first time. Okay, if you think this kind of place is going to cost you a fortune and I don't want it, then open a boutique for me. It's still okay by me. But it has to be very big goal. Oh. You know what? I will look into that as long as I know you love me the way I love you. You know I love you so much now, baby. Who am I without you? You know what? Tonight, I'm going to take good care of you. Trust me now. Me and you tonight. That's my baby. If you do me well, I might even buy this whole place for you. <laughs> ah ah. Is that not open up no? With another man? Ah ah. Now so this would be. Jesus. What is this man doing here? Oh God, I'm finished. No, I can't lose the both of them. Honey, I think we should be leaving right now. Mm -mm, don't be too fast. Pinopino, I saw you day. 
pin up, pin up. So you've been deceiving me all this while. Telling me that I'm the sugar in your tea. And I've been spending my money on you. Ah, you are not a good person. Baby, who is this man shouting like a dog in my presence? Oh, I'm shouting like a dog. Oh, yeah. Mumu, he goes, look at your big belly like two bags of garlic. <laughs> Instead of you to use your common sense and understand what I'm saying, that this girl has been using the both of us, another man that would not even know to enrich herself. First of all, I will not have you come here and call me names. You better be careful with the way you talk to me. Baby, what he's saying, is it true? Answer me. Baby, are you going to believe what this man just told you? He's lying. I don't know him from anywhere. Believe me. You know I can't cheat on you. He's who I love. I can never do such things. Pino, Pino, are you the one saying this? Because I told you that I went bankrupt. You are not denying me in front of this pregnant man. <laughs> you chief. You're a loser here. Stop trying to spread what's going to join together. You can't just win. Why can't you rest? Pino, Pino. I bet you, you will regret this. After everything I did for you, you must regret this. Now I know who you are and what you are made of. You are using me to enrich yourself. I get it now. Stop all this nonsense you are saying, Mr. Man. Go have a life. If you are hungry, say it out. Let my baby help you. Baby, I think it's making sense with what he's saying. Are you truly using us to enrich yourself? Are you seriously going to believe this man standing here? You know what? I think you don't love me. Because if you love me, you won't believe what this man just said. I'm leaving. When you arise yourself, you call me. Have a good day. It's God that saved you. This girl will rip you to go bankrupt. Then she will leave you. You better praise God that you met me today. Do you know that this girl is telling me to get to a place like this? Can you imagine that? And my wife is at home. I said this so, Bele. If for less after she finished dealing with you. <laughs> and I guess you're gonna spend on her today. Because that's what I always do until I went broke and realized how stupid I am. My brother, I've spent 800k already on her today. What? My goodness. Vera, I'm really going down. I don't know where to begin from. The doctor said my kidney did not match with my father's own. But the doctor already told you he's going to look for a donor for you. You have to calm down. I would have said let me donate my... But well, you know my health condition I already told you about. No, 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 it's fine. I understand. It's just that you have seven days more to leave if any action is not taken. What will happen to me if my father happens to pass away? That means I'll become an orphan. No, nah. He can't just go. Nothing will happen to him. Uncle, stop worrying your head too much. Nothing is going to happen to your father. If not, I'm a small child. I could have said, let me donate mine. But on God, everything will be fine. Aww. Exactly, my love. Don't kill yourself over what God has already taken care of. It's okay. God knows why. I'll just wait for the doctor to look for the donor. But uncle, is that why you're crying like a baby in this public place? <laughs> you want people to laugh at you? No, Stella. I don't want to cry. I'm a strong man. I can't cry. It's a lie, uncle. You're lying. Look at tears almost drop down your eyes. What? Stella, no. Be calm. I don't want to cry. Oh, Vera, did I sound like I wanted to cry? I know she will side you because she loves you. What? Sorry, it's the slip of tongue. Please, I never meant to say such. But I thought you guys are dating. Like in a serious relationship. Still, I don't piss me off now. What's all this now? Did you bring her here to come and remind me of how stupidly single I am? I don't get it. Why are you saying all this, Stella? Auntie, sorry now. I don't know you both are just friends. I thought you were together because you look cute together. Aww. Thank you, Stella. Actually, she's my girlfriend. Please don't mind her. That's how she be here sometime. Please ignore any harsh words she used on you. Okay? Ike, when did you start dating? Yeah. Is this a dream or what? No, be only dream. Can't you date me? I didn't fit, right? I didn't say so. Why would you be telling her that I'm your girlfriend, whereas I'm not? You're literally lying. Hmm. Grow up. I just say we were dating so to answer Stella with her expectations. You can't keep debating and making arguments with her now. That's somehow. Okay, I understand you now. Auntie, it's like you have hot temper. <laughs> Me, I don't like people that have hot temper. No, my darling. I don't have hot temper, okay? Just that I get emotional sometimes. What is it? Why is your face like this? I just realized my sister is not here. 
I'm here eating, but she's not eating. What will she eat now? We don't have food. Ah, uh -uh, Stella, is that why you want to cry? Definitely, we are going to get your sister a takeaway. So why would you want to cry over that? I know you love your sister so much, but I'm here now. You can tell me anything, okay? Okay, Uncle. Thank you very much, and thank you too. It's okay, my darling. Like I said, Mr. Ikechuku, your dad is going to be fine. Don't panic. But doctor, how are you going to get a donor ASAP? You know you said you only have seven days to live if anything is not done. So how possible is it getting a donor before this time? I know it's not going to be easy getting a donor, but I believe there will be a donor before then. In order to be on the safer side, we we'll make a deposit of seven million naira now, so we can start looking for a donor right away. That's not a problem, doctor. I will contact my account manager to make the transfer to the hospital's account right after you. That's very good. Good day, doctor. Good day, sir. Lola, how are you doing? You know, Lola, I have news for you. But I don't know if it is good news or bad news. The doctor have operated on your mom just this afternoon. And she will be in a good state very soon. But she won't be able to leave until her bill is paid completely. As a matter of fact, Someone came yesterday and donated the sum of 500,000 naira to your mom. So your mom will be in a good state soon. Once her bill is paid completely, she can then leave. Doctor, am I dreaming? Please, someone should wake me up. You mean my mom is going to be fine very soon? Absolutely, Lola. But... Doctor, forget that one. Thank you so much for this, doctor. Don't worry. I believe that God Almighty that brought the person that donated 500,000 naira. You also do it for me again. I'm so happy, doctor. Yeah, you should be happy. You know, I told you that nothing is going to happen to your mother. All you need is to always have faith in God and always believe that he is the only one and true God. Doctor, you are a very good person. My God will bless you and bless your generation. Your type is real, I swear. How much more can I say? Thank you for everything you've done for me. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. My name is Ikechuku. And you are? I'm Lola. Nice meeting you, Lola. You too. Excuse me, guys. Such a beautiful young girl. I guess Stella is your sister. Yeah, how did you know? She told me about you. So immediately the doctor mentioned about your mom. I knew it's you. I told her to tell you that I want to see you. Did she? Yeah, she told me that some person wants to see me. And I wasn't like, hope all is well. I don't know it's you. Yeah, I did. I asked her to call you for me. You know, she told me everything. How you're looking for money to pay your mom hospital bill. And the way she said it got me wanting to shed tears. You know, one will never understand what people are passing through until he or she had to taste it or hear it. I was really touched. And I must say you are a very strong and vibrant young girl. Thank you so much, Oku Kejiko. I really appreciate the words of your compliments. It's okay. You know, I'll take it off from here. I'll pay your bills and take care of every other necessary things involved. You don't have to worry your head anymore. It's a lie. Jesus Christ. God. God. My God will bless you. He will uplift you. It's okay, Lola. You don't have to shed tears for it. You know, ever since I was little, God has blessed me and I never tested poverty on my life. So I've not really known or felt how people feel in their state level. But hearing the story of that poor girl, Stella, I wept bitterly in my heart. In life, you have to have good reputations. That's why everybody knows my father for his good deed of helping people. I know if it was my father, he would have done more. Nevertheless, be a strong girl, okay? Sir, so saint. I don't know how else to thank you. But I pray that God will bless you more in abundance. God bless you, sir. Stella told me that your dad is sick. Yeah, you know, he has kidney failure. So right now, we are looking for a donor because my own didn't match. So after a year, I'll just transfer the money for the kidney to the doctor so they can get a donor ASAP. He has just seven days to live. How much is the money for the kidney? Seven million naira. What? That's huge. You know what? Keep your money. Don't transfer any money to them. I will donate mine. Okay. 
I know the fact that we've been talking for so long now, but this is somebody's health we are talking about. My father's health. So you shouldn't joke with it. I'm not joking. I'm going to donate mine to him. As a matter of fact, right now. What? Is it a kind of repayment for me paying your bills? Nope. You said one will never understand how people feel or what they are passing through until they have to test it. Right now, I understand how you feel and what are passing through. I'm passing through a lot, and you are also passing through a lot. But you chose to help me. So why can't I help you get away your lot when I can? Let love spread. This is hood. I must tell you, this is hood for me. God bless you, my dear. Go will please too higher than you expect. Amen. Thank you. I will just go and meet the doctor right away. Honey, is this how heartless you are? For how many days now I've not set my eyes on my son? And you don't get to know if he's alive or dead. What kind of a father are you, this man? A father who does not care about the safety of his own son. Just because of four million naira. Enough this woman. Why are you giving me a headache in this house? I'm trying to think. So many things have been going through my mind. And you won't let me be. For your information, I sold your car. What? Why? You must be joking. Joking, you said. <laughs> How do you want me to get the money to use and pay your son? If it is that easy for you, why haven't you given me the money to use and pay him? Is he not your son? You're supposed to do something as the father. It's also my car. I bought it with my hard money. So as you can see, I'm doing something as the father here. No, honey. I know you must be joking that you sold my car. How would I be joking? I don't have another option than to look for something and sell. And it's my car you sold to sell in this whole building. What else can I sell that we amount to that amount? Or you don't want your son to come back again? Really? I don't know why you are wicked. You have your own car. Why don't you sell it? It's my own car that I'm managing that you sold. How much more can we describe witchcraft? It's for the sake of our son. I really care about his safety. And I know you do as well. So that's why I sold the car so that we can bail our son out. I would have sold mine. But you know, I just bought that car this year. What? And it will not be nice if I sell it. So is that why you have to sell mine? You would have looked for another thing and sell now. We have washing machine, a lot of things in this house for you to sell. It's my car that just entered your mind to sell. You're not a good person, no. You don't love me. And it's funny I'm just finding out now. <laughs> Do you know that sometimes you sound so childish and funny? <laughs> Doing like a small baby. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. I'm going to buy you another car very soon, okay? Brighten up now. Nah. Promise me. Me, I don't trust you again, no. Oh. For you to sell my car without telling me first. I don't trust you again. I promise you, my beloved wife. I'm going to replace your car soon, okay? It's not replaced. Because I don't even like that car anymore. The brand looks old. So you buy me another brand like... Benz or BMW. No, I love BMW. You replace this with BMW. I don't hear. So you call the number now and tell them you have the money now so that my son can come back to me. He's also my son. You hear? Know how you make things specific. Poor Joe. Hello? Why are you calling me? Do you have the money now? Yes, I have the money here. But please, I would love to talk to my son first. Let me be sure he's fine. Okay. Hold a bit. Hello, Daddy. What? Did you get the money? Yes. How are you doing? Hope nobody touched you. Yes, Daddy. But this place has been like a hell for me. Mosquito everywhere. Please, bring the money for them so I can leave this place. Please. Okay, baby, don't worry. You'll be out of that place very soon. Thank you, Dad. Who is that on the phone? Who are you calling? My dad called. He said he has the money. What is that call first? Why are you happy? Because your dad has the money we are trying to rob from him? No. Because your mom is going to be okay soon. I told you they would deliver, no matter what. Plan change, James. Someone already paid the money, so I won't be needing the money anymore. Ah-ah, uh -uh. seriously? So what do I do now, my father suspects? I don't know. I'm totally confused now. See what will happen, James. You will just go home and tell him that it's a prank. That you just wanted to know if they can do anything for your safety. Hmm. Are you sure this is going to work? 
You can still collect the money and use it for another thing. No, James. You must consider the situation of your parents now. Just go home and let them know you are fine, okay? So that their peace will be at rest. Okay. How is your mom? Hope she's getting better now. Yeah, she's better now. Thank you. James, thank you for everything you've done for me. You've done what family cannot do for me. I appreciate every bit. Aww. I love you, James. You have to go now. I'll see you later. I love you too. Aww. Can you listen to me? You're becoming something else. How can your room be that bad? You don't smoke trees. Mom, if you know what is good for you, just leave me alone. What? Let me be, please. And besides, it's not your business if I smoke. So stop pestering me. My daughter, what is happening? This is not the very my daughter that I know. You're not a changed person. Do you know matter of bad things? Mom, it's never your business with what I do with my life. I'm just trying to live a happy life. And those trees you saw makes me happy with just a drag. Starting from when, Vera? Who taught you how to do this? Who is misleading you? Please, Vera, talk to me. What is happening? Why do you have to start smoking? Mom, if there's anyone that's misleading me in this life, it's you and dad. Yeah. I thought you said you don't have my time. So how come you have my time to go to my bedroom and start looking for cigarettes? I want to ask you something, please. What do you do when you're your lowest? When you're depressed? What do you do? Vera, why all these questions? Just answer me, mom. My daughter, I'm sorry for every pain I've caused you. Who's giving you attention and not taking proper care of you as a mother? I'm sorry. Really? Look, I promise to make it up to you. I'm not a changed person. I'll give you my time, energy, and love. Are this ways actually coming out from you? Never believe you could be this sweet. I am sorry, Vera. I know I hurt you emotionally and mentally. I never knew it would get to the extent of you smoking. You know you have health issues. Are you trying to put me in trouble? Oh, now you know I have health issues. I needed to be taken care of. Wow. You and dad disgust me. I don't want to set my eyes on you both. Really? We are still in my house. <laughs> mm, then I will leave your house for good. Look, Vera, I'm not saying you should leave. You're my daughter, my pet, my everything. Still smoking is all I ask. Please. On one condition, you will change from this your attitude and be a better version of yourself. Consider it done. I've changed already. I've never smoked before. I just kept that in there so you could see it. I don't smoke. Imagine. Naughty girl. I love you, mom. I love you too, my daughter. Aww. You said you have something to tell me. I'm all ears. <sighs> Vera. I'm in a big trouble now. I've gotten myself into what I don't know. Uh-uh. Is it that serious? What happened? Talk to me, baby. Okay. There's this man I met. He's very wealthy, so my plan was to do that one loan, collect the money, then I'll stop doing all those bad things like you advised me. But unfortunately to me, when I got to his hotel room, we agreed he was going to pay me one million naira earlier before I went to his hotel room. So when I met him, he said he wants it raw. He was going to pay me more. I said how much? He said five million naira. So the price moved me, and I agreed. Mm-hmm. Normal thing now. That's what you always wanted. I've not seen any point that's making you say you've gotten yourself into trouble. Vera, I'm HIV positive. What? How come? Oh, he gave you HIV in an exchange with money. Ah, Mope. So what do you want to do now? You know I've been telling you to stop this lifestyle you are living. But you won't listen to me. See, HIV is not a small disease. A deadly disease. 
You've used your hand to sign death warrant for yourself. Now tell me what you want to do. Vera, this is not the right time to start blaming me. You can see that I'm already in pain. You shouldn't be adding to it, please. It will break me down the more. I know I paid deaf ears to your advice, and I totally regret it right now. Please don't add salt to my injury. It will hurt me the most. You are the only one I've told this. And it's because I trust you as my friend. Please, what do you think I should do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'll be the death day is cured to HIV. The only thing you can do now is to go to hospital or to your doctor and tell him or her what you are carrying. He or she will give you drugs that can make you last longer and be waiting for it to turn to AIDS. That is the only thing I can tell you now. Because here is I refuse to hear a word, must follow a beheaded corpse to the grave. Lesson learned at last is of no use. Vera, I can see you have nothing to offer me. Not even a consolation. It's okay. I'll just go and find my way. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, sorry now. Bele. It's just that I was telling you to stop before things get out of hand like it did now. I'm sorry, okay? I was just mad that you refused to hear my advice and now you're bringing this to my table. You see, Vera, never judge people without knowing their reason for some things they do. You were born and brought up in a wealthy family where you lack nothing except when you start complaining of them not giving you attention. Look at me very well, Vera. I'm an orphan. My parents gave birth to me and left me on the street. I have to stand. I have to survive. Do you know the most funny thing? I was being a good citizen. Hawking bones and all that things as well. I was surviving and taking care of my school stuff from the sales I make. You know how things is. You even helped me to pay some of my school stuff then. You think life was fair to me? I'm always in pains. Okay, after I graduated with second class upper, I searched for a job like there was no tomorrow. The people that managed to help me and give me the job requested I sleep with them first, which I did. No doubt I didn't do it. And after that, they would disappoint me, telling me that there's no vacancy anymore. Now tell me, Vera, if you're in my shoe, what would you have done? I really so far to earn a living. So I thought of using what those managers used to collect from me and still refused giving me the job to be getting money from them. That was how all these things started. Chai, I know it's not easy for you then. Or you shouldn't have gone that far. You can still be doing that your small business and hoping on God that one day you'll have a good job. Vera, do you know that I had a child out of red luck? One of those managers impregnated me. So how do you want me to take care of my child with my small business? Vera wasn't happy at all. The only thing that could make me happy then is send the money that can take care of my needs. So that was why I went into hookup. I'm not saying I'm proud of it. But I have to do what I have to do to survive. Hey God, your story is quite touching. But you would have told me then now. Let me help you and look for job. Remember I lost contact with you then after our graduation. They stole my phone that period. Yeah, it's true. Hey, see, no one is judging you, okay? And you're not going to die. You will live your life well, okay? The doctor will take care of that. Don't mind what I've been saying. You're not going to die, okay? We'll just go and see the doctor after here. Thank you very much, Vera. God bless you. It's okay, baby. Stop crying. Just repent and change. I believe God will have mercy on you. I have already repented. I'm not a changed person. Mm-hmm. Stop crying. You will be fine. Lola, my daughter, thank you very much for saving my life. I can't just stop thanking you for everything you have done for me. You are my savior. I owe you everything. It's okay, sir. I mean, life no hard. Now people no more help each other. 
People should learn how to look out for each other, whether poor or rich. It feels good to know that you are alive, sir. I owe it to you, Lola. You are a very kind young girl. You know I will not tell you that I'm going to pay you back of what you have done for me, because even money cannot buy the kindness and the love you used in doing it. So I would just like to ask you to make a wish, any wish at all, and it will be granted. You can have time to think about it if you have none now. Feel free to say your mind, my dear. Thank you very much, sir, for this kind gesture. I really appreciate. But in this aspect, I would like to redirect it to my mom. She's my god. My superwoman. Aww. In fact, the air I breathe. So I would like her to make the wish and say her mind. Whatever she says, I'm fine with it. Her happiness means a lot to me. Thank you, sir. It's okay. I mean, it's your wish. You can choose anybody you like to make the wish for you. Over to you, Mama. Make your wish. Thank you very much, my daughter, for this wonderful respect and opportunity. And thank you, sir, for this great honor you have given to my family. I wish for good and healthy life for my family. I want my children to be graduates and live a healthy life. That's my wish, sir. And so shall it be, Mama. Your family will know no poverty again, and your children must be graduates. Lola, hope you are okay with the wish. Yes, I am. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Another thing, Lola, I will be giving you one of my company to manage. Not that you will be working there, but the company will be yours, and you keep all the returns the company brings. Oh my God! Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Aww. Your father is so generous. I told you. Thank you very much, sir. My God will uplift you the way you uplift others. It's okay, Mama. Meanwhile, um, Ike, please bring forth the contract document. Okay, sir. Here it is, sir. So, Lola, this is the first contract you'll be signing. All you have to do is to go through it and sign. You are awarding the contract to one Mr. Clement Opa. Uncle, sorry. Is he short? <laughs> like not too short. Average height. With mustache beer beer. Yes. Sister, Nahim. No doubt, Nahim. Please, sir, uh, if you don't mind, I would like to see the person face to face. Please, can you call him to come? That's not a problem. Um, Ike. Please call him to come. Okay, Dad. Good day, Honorable. Lola? Ah, uh -uh, what's going on here? Um, Mr. Clement, the reason why I called you here is because there's a little change now. The company awarding you the contract does not belong to me anymore. It now belongs to Miss Lola, so she requested to see you. Ah, uh ah, -uh, how come? The Lola I know cannot afford the pin. What? Not to talk of buying that big company that even me cannot buy. I know. Good things happen to good people. And she's a wonderful soul. She will be signing her signature to approve the contract. Over to you, Lola. Ah, sister. Let me help you, please. <laughs> Don't worry, Stella. I can handle this. James, thank you for everything you've done for me. You've done what family cannot do for me. I appreciate every bit. Aww. I love you, James. You have to go now. I'll see you later. <laughs>